kitchen. Today we are going to make taco salad for dinner, so I am going to prepare a uh, taco salad salad dressing. I said that twice. So um, this recipe works really good for two people. We like to make two big salads. This will pretty much cover what we need for the two of us. You can double it if you're a bigger family, um, whatever you want to do. So um, here we go. These are the things we're going to need. A half a cup of mayonnaise. You can use uh, light mayonnaise if you prefer, or whatever you, whatever you kind you like. It just seems to be a common base for some salad dressings. A uh, quarter cup of sour cream. You can use Greek yogurt if you prefer. We're going to have, uh, let's see, this is a quarter cup of cilantro that's been chopped. Uh, juice of at least one lime, uh, two if you prefer. Matthew doesn't like it too tart. I don't mind it, but you know, we have to somewhere go somewhere in the middle. Um, and some sugar and a little bit of taco seasoning probably and uh, the last of our salsa that we have I usually throw that in there too so let's just get going I'm gonna, uh, I like to we like to do the salad dressings for our dinners um, a little in advance that gives it time to get those flavors melt together there's this quarter cup of sour cream I don't use light. We used to buy light and then we don't care anymore. Okay, that's that. I'm going to put in the, that was handy. Oh, I guess I want to use this, uh, so what was it? Salsa? I'll dump that in there. This is a spicy, uh, locally made salsa that we really enjoy. And then now we need cilantro we're just putting it all in there gonna mix it up the cilantro here you can see I wanted to share with you too that um, how we keep our cilantro we buy a nice big bundle of it uh, I wash it all ahead make sure it's pretty dry and then I put it in a jar of water and then cover it really loosely with some plastic like so not too tight and then I put that in the refrigerator pretty handy. That lasts us quite a long time. Okay, I'm making a mess. Time for the lime. We have one of these squeezers. These are really great. We got the stainless one because the ones that were colored, they used to end up chipping. So these are much better. So we'll use one lime. I like one as two. But it's not all about me. Okay, there's that. Now sugar is just kind of gonna offset that lime a little bit. Just gonna use like just a splash of sugar. I think quarter teaspoon or so, something like that. And a couple shakes of just some taco seasoning that she, and I might be using this for the meat that we're gonna do later too. Just a little bit of that in there. You could put something else in there if you wanted to like chili powder or you know just use your imagination so now i'm going to mix this all up super easy and there you go that's it doesn't get any better than that i'm gonna stick this away in the refrigerator until we get the rest of our salad put together all right so the meat for our taco salad um we're using a uh, ta taco seasoning um, I will often like make up a little chili sauce and cook the meat in that, but this is uh, the other method. We're just going to start with a half cup of water, kind of a medium high heat here. And I'm going to put a healthy tablespoon of that taco seasoning in and get it mixed in. I want this to cook a little bit before I throw the meat in there. Yeah, you don't really have to. It will cook. Yeah, okay. It's just nice to kind of blend it ahead. What do you got there? So this is uh, some ground, or not ground, this is some shredded turkey from uh, 
our fake spring Thanksgiving. <laughs> we cooked a turkey recently, so we'd have the uh, broth and the uh, shredded turkey. So this, this makes great taco meat. Oh, we're frozen still. Mm -hmm. It's also good on nachos. Yeah, so that's that's the thing. One of the reasons we cook a turkey is because we can uh, we can freeze the meat and have have meat it's already shredded. All we have to do is take it out of the freezer and we're good to go. Add a little flavor. Okay, now it's starting to cook. This really needs to lose a lot of the water that's in here and let the uh, turkey soak up some of the stuff. So you could do this with uh, ground beef. You could do it with shredded turkey, or uh, shredded chicken. Um, you know, it'd be good tanga. Yeah. Tanga would be good for this salad or uh, al pastor. <laughs> um, so yeah, whatever you want to flavor your meat with, it's going to work out nicely. So we're just going to let this cook down a while. And uh, in the meantime, our lettuce and tomato is there. I think next you get some olives. So you know you, you think about trying to trying to eat salads and eat a little healthier and you just don't want to do it. But here's the thing, it, you don't have to deprive yourself of anything to eat a salad. Salads can be delicious and beautiful. So, okay, so this meat is perfect. The, excess water is gone. I'm just going to turn it off and we'll let it cool off a little bit before you put it on the lettuce. All right, so our meat is uh, cooled off a little bit. We're going to add some, it is a taco salad, we're going to add some tortilla chips and I'm just going to crumble them on the fly here and um, they, they really add a nice little uh, corn crunch and some salt um, to our salad. I already uh, added a little bit of chili oil to mine because I really like it spicier and that does the trick. And we'll put on some cheese. So you can um, you can make this uh, calorie count on this thing be a lot lower than what I'm doing right here. Just you could have a smaller salad. You could put you know a little less cheese, a little less dressing, whatever you need. Um, I'm beyond worrying about it too much, but then you know <laughs> it shows. And then put on our turkey. You can put the turkey under the dressing too if you prefer that. There's no uh, no set order here. That looks like plenty to me. There you have it, top of salad. So thanks for watching Two Cooks in the Kitchen. Subscribe to our channel. Look for the recipe on our website at twocooksinthekitchen.net and we'll see you next time.